What is going on, guys? We are here with the SEC, the Southeastern Conference bracket. Now, all there's a lot of videos coming out today, man. All the ACC videos are already out. Uh, by the time you're watching this, most of these are out outside of the Pac-12 and Big Ten. Um, but it's 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 a big day here. It's a big day here. We got we got we got the tournaments starting tomorrow with the ACC. Um, but that's not where we're ending things, man, because we still got to talk about the SEC, a conference that cannot be forgotten about. We got some good games here in the SEC, I believe, could be could be special, could be special. We got Vanderbilt and Texas A&M to start things off. Um, Vanderbilt, I think that they are, I just think they're winning. I'm going to be cl- I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't got any rhyme to reason to why I think that's going to happen. I don't got anything else outside of I just have a gut feeling that Vanderbilt is going to beat Texas A&M. So that leads us into this because they have a weird number of teams. Um, so that means we're going straight back to Vanderbilt and Florida. And I'm gonna be honest with you, who 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 do you think on Vanderbilt is stopping that bad bad man? Who do you think stopping Trey Trey man? Who do you think's gonna stop him? Come on, come on! Florida's winning that thing easily. Easily. That's a cakewalk for Florida. We got Kentucky versus Mississippi State. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Mississippi State's not a bad team. They're not a bad team, but they're not the team that they're, they're not going up against the team you want to play in March. I've said it with the UNC games. I've said it with the Duke games. I've said it with a lot of teams that are just historically good in March. Xavier's. I don't know how you expect to lo- or to walk in here and come out against Kentucky when Kentucky's been underperforming all year, and the only way that they're going to really have a shot to get into March Madness is if they go on a crazy run here in this tournament. That is not a type of team you want to play. they got to play with the chip on their shoulder because they know the expectations that comes with being a Kentucky Wildcat. That's not what you want to be up against. I'm going to have to take Kentucky just because they got more to play for. They, they, they have this expectation of greatness, and they haven't been that yet. So they gotta they gotta try to do something great here in this SEC tournament. Let me get Mississippi versus Southern Carolina. Um, I, I I'm gonna be honest with you, Ole Miss is just they're just gonna win. They're just gonna. Win. Southern Carolina is not a team that I'd be scared of at all. If you are in if you're in the SEC, I wouldn't be afraid of playing Car- in South in South Carolina. I wouldn't. Um, I honestly would be more afraid of a Vanderbilt than them, um, but uh, I, I wouldn't be too scared about South Carolina, especially for Ole Miss. I I, I don't I don't know why you'd be um, I, I don't know why you'd be that scared of Southern Cal- um, Carolina. Then we get Missouri, um, Mark Smith and Jeremiah Tillman um, versus Georgia, and unfortunately, because I know how good Tillman is, and because I know how good. Mark Smith is he can he can hit some threes and play some decent defense. I'm gonna have to take Missouri. Yeah, yeah, they beat us earlier in the year. I know, I know. I have to do it though. I have to take Missouri. Let me get into Tennessee and Florida. Um like I said, Trey Mann's a hard guy to guard. He's gonna be one of those guys that's gonna be he he feels like the traditional the traditional hero of a March Madness, you feel? You like there's there's those guys in March Madness that really make a name for themselves and everybody looks at the end of the thing and was like, dang, that guy really shined in March. He really he really brought out his best. He that's what that's the vibe I get from him. I feel like he could be that guy that we look at at the end of March Madness to be like, that guy raised his stock. That guy made a name for himself. That guy did something great. I can see Trey Man being that. But unfortunately, I can't see them beating Tennessee. I can't see them doing it. I don't know how you beat Tennessee. Um, I don't know how you do it. Um, if you're Florida, I, I just don't think that they have a shot against Tennessee. I really don't. Then we can get into Alabama, who's been surprisingly good. If you told me at the beginning of the year that Kentucky would be playing Alabama in a 1-8 and eight game, I would assume Kentucky would be the 1 and Alabama would be the 8. I would not assume the other way around. Alabama has been shockingly good, and Kentucky has been shockingly bad. And Kentucky's got a whole lot more to prove. 
Alabama, they've had a good year. They're making the tournament one way or another. They've been good. But unfortunately for Kentucky, I don't know how you stop Bama. I don't know how you do it. Especially when you've been underperforming all year. Sure, yeah, you can you can make a case that Kentucky could win this game. Sure. But the way Alabama's been playing this year, they got all the momentum in the world. They're coming into this tournament. Dude, they're the hottest thing in this tournament. Bama is Bama's legit this year. And if you told me at the beginning of the year, I'd be saying Alabama basketball was legit. That'd be crazy. But, hey, we came off a crazy year 2020. So, maybe maybe things are crazy. I don't know. But Alabama, they've got to win this game. they got to win this game. I'd love to see Alabama win this game. Uh, I, I, as you know, I, I almost went to Kentucky. But Kentucky, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm below, I, as much as I like Kentucky, I, I, I would love to see Bama win the game. Just because that is not a team that you would expect to be going crazy at this point of the season. I, I would love to see Alabama do something. I would love to see them do something special. Maybe they're a four seed. Maybe they're a three seed. They're a good team. They're a good team. I would love to see them do something crazy this year. I would love to see them go a decent way in March Madness. I would love to see them win this uh, win this SEC championship. Will they? I don't know. We get into LSU versus Ole Miss now. Mississippi. Um... I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Ole Miss, Ole Miss, like I said, they shouldn't be afraid of South Carolina. But LSU is a team to be afraid of if you're Ole Miss because Ole Miss is not necessarily a team that I would be afraid of either. Um, sure, they've, they've had a good season. They've been solid. But I wouldn't want to play LSU if I'm them. The best case scenario would be if they were on, you know, you know what? They, they're they just screwed either way. There's no way. Even if they're down with Arkansas, Bama, Tennessee, I don't care who it is. I don't see them winning. I don't see them getting out of the second round. Ole Miss, I'm sorry. LSU's winning. LSU's winning. They're just in a precarious situation where they can't, yeah, they can win the first round game, but they're not good enough to win another game. And we get into Missouri and Arkansas. I think this one will be closer than what I'm going to make it sound. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. This game will be like a five, six-point game. But Arkansas, I don't know why. I, I don't know why I believe this, but I think Arkansas is going to be a team that is going to shock a lot of people. I think Arkansas is going to be a team that is going to make a major statement this March. I think Arkansas has what it takes. Oh, is this Moody? Has what it takes. I'm gonna I'm gonna go off on a limb and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that Arkansas does their business. They do what they need to do and they they prove why they're the two seed in this SEC tournament. I got Arkansas. Now, Tennessee versus Bama. Like I said, Bama, they 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 they're coming in hot. They're coming in hot. Tennessee, they've been good, but have they been as good as Bama? No. And Bama, I don't. There's one thing you don't want to give a team in March, and that's something that Bama already has, and that is confidence. You see it in some of these games, like a 13 versus six. You see it. You see it all the time. Maybe a 14 and or a 15 and a two, a 14 and a three, um, a 13 and a and, and um, my bad, a 13 and a four. You see it all the time, especially in March Madness, where teams give other teams. Hope they give them momentum, they give them confidence that they could hang with other teams in the country. You think Loyola Chicago could have told you that they were going to go on that run? No, they got confidence and they're like, Oh, we can actually legitimately hang with these guys. We know that we're good now, so let's go prove it. Let's go do it again. It's a very dangerous thing to give teams confidence, and that's something Alabama has. I don't know. I would take confidence over I would take confidence over over skill honestly cuz you could have a you could have a, a starting five of, of solid role players but you get them confident that team's beating a, a team with with a superstar on it I'm telling you you don't want everybody being confident and Alabama's confident you got LSU and Arkansas. Like I said, Arkansas is a team that for some reason I feel like is going to make a major splash. 
I feel like they're gonna make a major splash in March Madness. I think they're going to the Elite Eight. I think they're. I'm, I'm not gonna say that yet because I don't know what the bracket looks like. I think they got a shot to go to the Elite Eight. I think they got a shot to go to the Sweet Sixteen. They definitely have. A, they're definitely getting out of the first round. But Arkansas is a team that I believe in. I believe in them, and I'm gonna be boring. I know this is gonna be boring because everything played out as as planned. Everything happened what was supposed to happen in this predictions video. But I'm gonna go with Arkansas. I'm going to go with Arkansas. Arkansas is a team that I expect to be good. I, I have a high respect for what Arkansas has put together this season. I think they could do it. I think they should do it. I think they will do it. I think they'll prove that they are, that they belong. I believe it. I believe in Arkansas. And if you told me at the beginning of the year that I'd be sitting here saying SEC championship game was going to be between Alabama and Arkansas, I would have never believed you. I wouldn't have. I didn't. I didn't think Alabama had a shot. I don't think. I, I didn't think Arkansas was going to be a thought a shot. I thought maybe it was going to be like a Florida versus like a like a Missouri or a Florida versus a Kentucky or a, a Florida versus a Vanderbilt or Tennessee maybe. I don't know, man. This this just feels interesting. It's different. It's different this year. You got a team against confidence and a team that I think could go very far because they they have the talent to do it in Arkansas. But like I said. I would take confidence over talent any day. And and the confidence that Alabama has been playing with, man, I don't I don't care who you are. You cannot deny that Alabama has not been confident. They're confident in the in their in their approach to the game. They know that they we can hang with these guys. I mean, they know that, that regardless of how good Arkansas's players are, regardless of how confident Arkansas's players are, that they can hang. They know that now. And Alabama is a team that I think that at the end of the day you're looking at, and you you could sit there and you could say, hey, they got a legitimate shot to make even a bigger splash, not only in this SEC tournament, but in March Madness as well. So I think Arkansas and Bama both have legitimate shots this year. I think they do. I don't think the national championship caliber, just because of like what it comes with being on Alabama and Arkansas, they're just not teams that you would think of as being a national champion. But I definitely see them being – good in March, and Alabama's just the team I have to take, just because they're playing so confident right now that I don't know how you stop them, I don't, Alabama's a team that I think could be very good, and not only this SEC tournament, but the March Madness as well, um, let me know who you think the conference champions will be for the SEC, maybe you think it's going to be Alabama, maybe you think Kentucky does it again, maybe you think Missouri gets out there, maybe you think LSU shocks the world, maybe you think Florida and Trey Mann get it done, I don't know, let me know. Let me know down below. Make sure you go watch all the other videos as they are out already. Make sure you do all that fun stuff. Um, the Big Ten video and the Pac-12 video will be out after this one. Um, make sure you do stick around for all that. And um, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you go follow Twitter at Gamers YT, um, to stick up with me. I will be doing reactions to all of March Madness. When I say all of March Madness, I mean all. Day one, as soon as those games end, I'm hopping on. I'm hopping on the laptop. I'm telling y'all what I think. March Madness is among us, man. It is among us. This is a very important week for me. We got finals week next week, but the biggest thing I got on my mind right now is actually not even that. It is March Madness because this is like Christmas. We haven't had it in two years. Get ready, folks. Get ready. We are in for a good one. I'll be talking to you guys later.